the whole idea for the Sedoni Institute started when NASA announced in 1991 that they were going to return to Mars with the Mars Observer. And over the last 30 some years of our group studying NASA photographs, we have found an enormous amount of evidence that led us to believe there are artificial structures on Mars. A NASA scientist was studying a region of Mars called Cydonia when he came across shocking images that hinted at alien civilization on the Red Planet. But instead of acknowledging the glaring reality, NASA swiped the theory under the rug. Get ready as we reveal terrifying images that prove life exists outside Earth. Scientists have always been fascinated by the idea of alien life and ancient civilizations of unknown origins. Among all the planets in the solar system, Mars has been the top contender for alien existence since the beginning. However, speculation was replaced by facts when Italian astronomer Giovanni Scaparelli made detailed observations of the red planet in 1877. He detected unusual markings resembling a canal system on the planet's surface. This could only mean one thing, the presence of civilization and life. However, the scope of technology was limited in his time, and there was no way to confirm his theory. But as scientists made leaps in space travel and imagery, the chances of finally discovering the truth increased, and as you can expect, Mars was on top of the list for alien life exploration. Therefore, when the Mariner 4 probe sent back 22 images of Mars in 1965, scientists couldn't help but feel disappointed. Can you guess what the photographs showed? The images looked nothing like Giovanni's vision. In fact, the planet's surface looked completely ordinary, with harsh pockmarks, devoid of any signs or evidence of an ancient culture. There could only be two explanations for this sudden shift. Maybe Giovanni was greatly limited by the technology of his time, and his observations about Mars and his high hypothesis about life on the planet were inaccurate. The other explanation, which scientists believe to be more plausible, is that there was life on the planet many years ago, but it has now become extinct. Did you know the red planet was blue once? Mars wasn't always cold and barren, but it had flowing rivers, vast oceans, and a magnetic field some four billion years ago. It had a thick atmosphere similar to Earth's, which meant life could easily flourish on Mars. However, the planet began to lose its atmosphere and water and turned into a dead, cold world. So while we are still looking for proof of life on Mars, it's hard to ignore that conditions for survival were more favorable there than on Earth in the past. And knowing that the red planet was habitable many billion years ago, scientists continue to search for any signs of civilization. The biggest breakthrough in space exploration came in 1975 when NASA sent two aircraft to Mars, Viking 1 and Viking 2. But while the images received from the mysterious planet were shocking, what was even more unbelievable was how the same scientists searching for signs of alien existence discredited its discovery. Get ready because the details we will disclose next will blow your mind. Both Viking 1 and 2 were NASA Mars landers and orbiters. The orbiter's job was to create global maps, while the landers were responsible for examining the planet's surface up close. The orbiters were fitted with a high-resolution camera that allowed us to look at never-before-seen images of the mysterious red planet. Viking 1 and 2 sent thousands of photographs back to Earth, where Toby Owen, a NASA scientist, spotted an anomaly he had never expected to find. The most extraordinary image was the 35A72, which showed a protruding human face from the surface, as well as unique structures resembling pyramids. Excited by his discovery, NASA immediately released these images to the press in the hopes of attracting attention from the public. However, despite all the images, only 35 of 72 caught the public's attention. The media was filled with speculation about the face in the picture and the structures surrounding it. Many believed the structures were not natural but artificial, which could be a clear indication of alien life on Mars. Whose face was in the image? Were the structures built by an ancient alien civilization? Was there a message hidden in the image for Earth humans to find? The questions went on and on. NASA scientists weren't prepared to comment on their findings, which was surprising because they had finally found evidence they had been searching for many years. Instead of acknowledging the possibility of life on the Red Planet, NASA took a U-turn and declared that the face was nothing more than an optical illusion. They also mentioned taking another photograph of the same area that showed nothing extraordinary on the planet's surface. But the funny thing is, they never submitted that proof, and nobody thought to ask about it. 
Moreover, they ignored Cydonia entirely as the landing site of the Viking II, even after the astonishing images received from its surface. Instead, they landed Viking II on a barren, rocky region called Utopia Planitia. Why did NASA change the landing site abruptly? Was it a deliberate attempt to ignore the ground realities in Cydonia? The answer is yes. Let's have a look at the image that spurred this massive controversy. Eventually, they found 35A72 labeled head in the Viking image files. And after reviewing the photo, DiPietro and Molinar felt that, despite what NASA claimed, there was more to the face than a trick of light and shadow. Although NASA claimed there was nothing more to the image than a dance of shadows and light, two scientists, Vincent DiPietro and Gregory Molinar, decided to investigate this claim further. They began their research with the original image. The only problem was they couldn't find it. The image was misfiled and later recovered from another location labeled head. Looking at the photograph, DiPietro and Molinar found it hard to believe that the face wasn't actually there, but an optical illusion created by light and rock formations. So they thought, why not look for the other image that NASA claimed was proof of the face's non-existence? If you're thinking the second image didn't exist, you'd be surprised to know that it did, but it was also misfiled like the first one. Instead of finding nothing in the second image, the scientists found an even more detailed picture of the face with fewer shadows than the first. And this second image showed more detail and less shadow on the left side of the face. The image clearly showed a face with two eye sockets, a nose, and a mouth. You can also notice how the structure has two parallel and even length sides, almost hundreds of yards long and surprisingly straight. The top and bottom edges are curved, creating a perfect face outline. So the question arises, why did NASA lie about the second image showing nothing when it, in fact, proves even further the theory sparked by the first one? Unfortunately, the web of lies got even more twisted over the next few years as NASA vehemently refused to take any more photographs of Sidonia. Imaging experts and geologists agreed that the structure couldn't be dismissed as a natural formation, and despite NASA scoffing at the discovery, DiPietro and Molinar continued their quest for truth. With science journalist Richard C. Hoagland on their team, they brought in an imaging specialist, Dr. Mark Carlotto, to enhance the image further. His new image enhancement techniques showed what looked like teeth in the mouth. Carlotto used modern image-enhancing technology to study the face in greater detail. He discovered what looked like teeth in the mouth and an odd stripe pattern on the frame areas. Hoagland approached NASA again and met with Carl Sagan, but he didn't give merit to the idea, sending the research team back to square one. However, Hoagland wasn't ready to let his discovery go. He forced NASA to take new pictures of the face and pyramids at Cydonia by mobilizing his radio network, which reached millions. And the timings couldn't have been more perfect, as NASA was ready to send the Mars Observer into space. But can you believe that the Mars Observer had no cameras attached to it? Thanks to awareness created by Hoagland, the public uproar was massive, and NASA had no choice but to include a camera in this space mission. It seemed as if the controversy would finally meet its end with new pictures taken through the Mars Observer. However, NASA was in no rush and declared they weren't interested in taking pictures of Sidonia at all. While the Mars Observer was still in space, Hoagland was invited along with scientist Dr. Bevan French on Good Morning America. Hoagland questioned the NASA scientist why they continued to ignore their requests, even though it could help settle the face debate once and for all. Ultimately, even the host began questioning NASA on their vehement stance because Hoagland's request made complete sense, while French's refusal to concede had no grounds. Can you guess what happened next? In a surprising turn of events, five minutes after the debate was aired, NASA announced that the Mars Observer had disappeared. The official statement was that NASA lost all contact with the spacecraft shortly before it was to enter orbit around Mars. But the timings are undeniably peculiar. Later, some scientists at NASA revealed that the Mars Observer wasn't lost at all, but orbiting around Mars and taking pictures of Cydonia. What is in Cydonia that NASA doesn't want us to know about? If they have found evidence of life on Mars, why do they continue to hide it? Let us know what you think in the comments section below. If you found this video intriguing, please give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to our channel and press the notification bell for more exciting space news and controversies. Until next time, stay curious.